Hello, welcome to the workshop. In today's video, we're going to be building an assembly table. It's based on a design by Ron Pork, but I'm working in a very small garage here, so I've made it a much smaller table. I've actually designed it so I can get the whole thing out of a single 8x4 sheet of ply. If you watched last week's video, I showed you how I drew the table using SketchUp. If you haven't seen that before, I'll put a link up here you can go and click on that and see how I actually drew and designed the table. But now we're going to get down to building it. So I got up early yesterday morning, I went down to my local timber yard and I got them to cut the panels to my cutting plan. So take a quick look at that and then we'll come back to the shop. Before I mark this table out and drill all the holes in the top, I just want to talk briefly about clamping options. I've got a number of different clamps here that I want to use with this assembly table. The most basic of course are these bench dogs that you typically get with like a, a workmate. They're a 20mm hole. Um, I've tried drilling a few different holes here just to see 3 quarter inch is a little bit too tight, 7 8 was a little bit too slack. So an actual 20mm drill bit, I've got a 20mm spade bit and that seems to fit it perfectly. So a number of the holes I'm going to do 20mm because obviously they fit these bench dogs quite nicely and I've got a lot of these about. For clamping up panels they'll be perfect. I've also got these bench dogs which are an adjustable G clamp. Now because these have got a small piece of steel poking out the bottom, these will go into a really small hole. So I could actually use these with any of these options, even the 20 mil. So that'll be good for 20 mil situations and the same hole as these bench dogs. So they're ideal. So the 20 mil hole will work for those. But ideally, I'd like to use these Bessie ratchet clamps because I just think these are brilliant the way they operate. It's a quick, re quick release, drop it down onto your worktop and then you ratchet it and they're, they're brilliant, they're really heavy duty, they work really quickly. The only thing with these is, these won't fit through a 20mm hole, so I'm going to have to drill a larger hole for these to fit in. Now the other thing is, if there's a hole in the middle of the field here, these clamps at the moment have got a stop on them. So they slide up to this little, there's a little punch divot here, which stops this headstock coming off the clamp. So if you slide it right up to the end here, and I'm in the middle of the table, I wouldn't actually be able to get that in. So what I've done is simply taken the file, I've filed that little stop off, so now I can actually slide them out. And now they'll quite simply just drop in that one inch hole and then I can just simply drop that back on the ratchet and then I'm free to ratchet my work piece. They'll work perfectly. So minor little alteration but they'll work fine. So now I'm left with two holes then. The 20 mil hole for these bench dogs and the one inch hole for the Bessie clamps. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drill alternate holes, different sizes, and then that will give me every option I want. So let's get to marking the table out. The top is 800mm wide, so I'm going to come in 50mm from the end, and then I'm going to do them on 100mm centres after that. The top's all lined out at 100mm centres, I'll just punch a small divot 
at all these points with the bradle just so that will get the drill bit started. That's all the 20 mil holes drilled, now for the one inch. Despite having a backer board on here, still got a lot of chip out on the underside. So I'm just going to tidy that up with a little quarter round radius round over bit with a ball bearing in a little trim router and just go around these holes. Okay, so there we go, the top's all done now. We've got our 20mm holes and our 25mm holes all drilled alternately all the way across the top. So that's going to give us loads of clamping options. Now to do the sides. I've marked out the outline of the oblong on this piece of scrap wood and I'm going to use this as a template. I'm going to cut this out fairly accurately with the jigsaw and then when we come to cut all of the sides and the end panels we can use this as a template to run the router around and then every hole will be exactly the same. To fix the assembly table together I'm going to use pocket holes we built this pocket hole station a couple of weeks ago and I'll put a link to the video for this in the description below. This pocket hole station lends itself to these long boards because these side panels are four foot long and now I've got this pocket hole station set up it supports the board along the whole length so it's not going to rock so I can securely clamp that in there and then I can drill my pocket holes quite safely without it wobbling about. pocket holes cut in the side panels so now I'm just going to rough out these circles and then we'll come back and trim them with the router okay what I've got set up in here now is I've got the template that we made earlier I've got that screwed with some countersink screws to the workpiece on the back so you won't see the screw holes that's going to act as my template and then set up in the router I've got a flush trimming bit which is riding on a little ball bearing here that's going to run around inside my template and then that's going to trim up our actual workpiece. There you can see that's nice and flush in there now and that will give us a really clean edge. And then just to finish this off it's nice and flush now I'm going to take my little trim router, it's got a half inch radius round over bit and I'm just going to ease these sharp edges. Before we put the assembly table together I took the trouble to give it a couple of coats of a water based polyurethane varnish. That will protect it from any glue squeeze out when we're actually come to build things on it. I've also gone over these pencil lines before I varnished it because I thought it actually gave it quite a nice appearance so I've kept those in. We can use those as layout lines in future. That's all the components for the assembly table now cut, drilled, we've got the holes cut in the end panels and side pieces and I've run the trim router around these holes just to ease these edges. We've also 
drilled all the pocket holes ready for these to be screwed together. So now it's just time for some assembly. I am going to use both the Craig screws and glue along this joint to hold this assembly table together. I mean primarily the glue is going to offer the greatest strength and the Craig screws will just hold it together until the glue cures. I'm just going to pop a couple of clamps on this as well before I drive these screws home. I've got this edge piece held here with temporarily with some clamps. What I've also done is I've taken one of these bench dogs and I've clamped it in here to stop this face from creeping. If you've ever used Craig screws before, you'll know that when you drive them home, the panel has a tendency to just, the joint has a tendency to creep because the screws going in at an angle. So I've got that second clamp on there just to prevent that board from coming out this way. Now just uh, just enough to prevent that board from moving while I drive those screws home. So that's all of the sides and the end pieces and the intermediate piece glued and Craig screwed together. So that's quite solid already. Now I'm just going to run a bead of glue around these top faces and then place the bottom on. And I'm going to pre-drill countersink and screw those through the bottom panel straight into the sides because when it's flipped over the other way you won't see any of those fixings, they'll be underneath. That's the base all screwed down now, so I'm just going to use a trim router again. I've got a small portion of the half inch roundover bit showing at the bottom. I'm just going to knock off these sharp edges. go the assembly tables finished now and as you can see with these traditional bench dogs we can use these in any of these hole locations to put a piece of wood up against if we're clamping it or just if we're using a plane they'll come in very handy obviously my favorite clamp the old Bessie clamp we can now drop this straight into the hole here drop the ratchet on top and we're good to go that's not going to go anywhere. These clamps are brilliant. And then uh, lastly, we've got the more traditional bench dog. These can also drop down into these holes and will act like a G clamp. And again, that's going to hold your wood nice and securely. So there's multiple options for this table now. We can do whatever we want with it. We've taken this from a concept drawing in SketchUp right the way through to this completed build. I hope you've enjoyed these two videos. I'll put a link in the description for the SketchUp video if you haven't seen that already. I had some fabulous comments on that video. Thanks very much for everybody who watched that. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's given you some inspiration to do your own build. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. See you on the next project. Cheers.